morning everybody welcome back to another fossil hunting video i've come out to one of my favorite beaches as of lately to find the rare ammonites i'm gonna head over towards that side towards raven scar and we'll see if anything has been washed in with all these really rough seas so we're walking through all the old streets of robiners bay now I'll not film any more walking footage. The next footage you'll see is when I'm down at the beach, as I know that's what you're all looking for. So it's looking like I'm just a little bit too early to be able to get round here at Boggle Hole. So I'm just going ahead to check it out now. So I'm gonna to have to walk round. Didn't look too bad. I guess in 15 minutes you'd be able to get straight round, but while I'm waiting, I'll go for the walk. I'm gonna come back that way anyway, so there's always a chance to find something. So if you come in this route, you definitely need wellies or at least very good walking boots because it's so slippery. I imagine in summer it'll be perfect, but not the best in winter. There's certainly quite a few pebbles that have appeared, washed in by all the rough seas, no doubt. Whether there's anything amongst them is a different matter. I'm going to just have a quick look towards the left hand side and then I'm going to shoot round the other way. I've got my very first find of the day. So there's a larger phyloceros fragment with what appears to be a dactyloceros washed up against it. I'm going to get my chisel out and try and split it. Well, the duct's come off, but it wasn't very well preserved. But these larger phyloceros fragments are usually worth tapping open in the middle because other ammonites do occasionally wash into them. But on this occasion it just looks like the outer world was preserved and no more had washed in. So I'm really happy with what I've just found. Let me flip you around. So I've not picked it up yet, but I have obviously spotted it. It's a very worn ichthyosaur bone block. Now you can see the really big ichthyosaur vertebra poking out of the side right there. So I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, look at that one. There's a lot of ribs and stuff on the back. I'm very happy with that one quite calcified on the inside. What a really nice pickup. It's obviously washed in from further down the coast. So I'm going to do what I always do with these really nice worn ichthyosaur pebbles and I'm going to wash it in the sea to highlight the detail of the boat. And the ichthyosaur bone for you. Very happy with that one. So these huge blocks of gryphia, or devil's toenails as they're known locally, are quite common in this area. I think they're from the Lower Elias. They're the same type of things that you find at Red Car Beach, because I picked up quite a lot from there as well. An extremely sea rolled and partial dactyloceros. Might as well give it a crack on camera. that little bit. Well, let's try and get the whole thing off. That seems like a good break. Unfortunately the whole inside of that dac was calcified so it's just cracked horribly. Never mind, not the best specimen and I'm sure there's loads more littered amongst this beach but we're not really looking for them common ammonites anyway. Unfortunately, I didn't film it because I wasn't really expecting anything to be inside the rock, but I just tapped it off camera and inside there's a nice little Arneoceros specimen. Let's have a close up look at it. Some water on that and it had come out really nice. There's a few more inside as well. Quite pleased with that one. 
If you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. I've got some really nice prepared ammonite specimens up for sale. I've also got fossil bone and I've got packs where you can crack your fossils open at your own house. Please take a look if you are interested. Thank you very much. So I've just removed this nodule here from this fallen shale slab, which is loose on the beach. So I'm hoping there'll be something on the inside of it. Let's go ahead and crack it open. You can see a seal making its way away from me there. Where is it? Slowly making its way away from me. So I'm certainly quite interested in seeing what's inside here. So let's go ahead and give it a tap. Oh wow, look at that. Wow. Inside there is a beautiful Asteoceros ammonite and that is the best one of these species that I've ever found. Well I'm super glad that I got that little rare beauty on film. You can see crinoid washed in on this shell slab, lower layers crinoid. Very cool. Let's see if it'll break off. Have a look together. You can see how detailed these pieces really are. All these individual shale preserved stems. I mean, look at that one. Watching it's raining now. I'm gonna leave this one. I mean, it's a beauty, but I'm not gonna click. I'm just having a quick look through this little cliff fall here. Looks like it's fairly fresh, but I can't see any nodules or even any ammonites inside any of the shale blocks so I'll be moving on it just shows how unstable the cliffs are up there that's definitely worth filming look at these disarticulated pieces of crinoid I'd imagine a lot of people will confuse these as little starfish given the shape I'll zoom in on one for you look at that Beautiful detail. So I've just picked up this block which seems pretty full of Arneoceros ammonites. So I guess the question would be, should I prep it? Or get it prepped? Or should I tap it on the beach? So I'm walking around the very corner. I'm gonna head all the way over there and then I'm gonna start making my way back. I have created a group on Facebook where people can share pictures and videos of their fossil finds from the Whitby area. I want it to be a friendly group for people to get help with their fossil hunting and also receive identifications on their finds. I would love to see you all join. I'll put a link in the video and also in the comments. Thank you. Look at all that lovely fresh mud that has washed out of this old landslide here. It's like clay and it's covering all the rocks. So I'm gonna walk on a little bit further. So that does look like a little bivalve shell. So I'm gonna have a go at getting it out. It might not be very well preserved, but you just never know. A few taps and it should come out super easy. A very crushed example. I will be leaving though. So there's a rare ammonite inside, a Paltechioceros, I believe they're pronounced. I'm going to give it a tap with my hammer. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I'm actually going to take this one back and maybe it will prep out. Just never know how well they're preserved. Okay everyone, so now I'm going to show you that lovely little rare ammonite that I found. 
very recently. I'm going to run some footage or maybe a picture of when I originally found it and you can see I was pretty unsure as to whether it was even an ammonite at all. It looked like some type of mineral. So here it is. This is the very back of the nodule and that's the ID that I was trying to pronounce earlier. Oxynotisserus Simpson. This is a new one for my collection so I'm really glad that I brought it back and look at the beautiful colours of this particular ammonite. It's quite a disc shaped, really quite flat. It's got a beautiful middle, but what a, an unusual shape. It's got the original shell on, so you'll see no suture marks. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and I will see you all on the next one. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my friend Malcolm for doing the preparation of this beautiful piece for me. So I'm just walking back now and I have just picked up this pretty pat looking ammonite multi-block, probably Arneoceros again. Let's go ahead and give it a crack open. I mean look how packed that looks. All them ammonite cross sections there. So I think I'm going to have to take that one back. Look at that large one what's just been revealed. That should be really nice. Maybe there'll be some more hiding in there, but if it's only this one, it's still going to be a bit of a corker. If you do enjoy watching these fossil hunting videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button and giving the video a like if you have enjoyed it. Thank you. So I've picked up yet another very sea worn Ammonite multi block. I don't know whether these will split, but I'm going to give it a go on camera just in case. So it's not particularly the best one. I'll probably leave this one or maybe give it a few more taps because there is another one there. So if I can get that one out. So I did manage to get the other side off and it split really well actually. Here it is. Beautiful Arneoceros Ammonite with the negative there. Last find before the end of the video, I keep walking and finding more stuff. There's a beautiful Dactyloceros with a really nice keel and possibly part of another one. Let's go ahead and take it out from the sand. Oh yes. Might have to get the chisel in there. Let's see how it splits open. has split off the rock so let's find out how it's gone and there we go the beautiful dactyloceros there to round off the day's fossil hunting just a little bit of the middle to remove but can't go wrong with that